My name is Steven, and I'm here to do a, well, a video. And this video is all about surviving, living. Uh, the life is not over just because you're paraplegic or quadruplegic, but you're paralyzed. If you're 60, 70, 80, even 90, I just want to let you know that if you give up, that's when you die. And your master will call you. Today, uh, we'll talk a little bit about what are we going to do today. Who am I? What happened to me? Uh, I will start with my, again, my name is Steven. I died five times in Daytona, Halifax, 2011. Um, I died five times in 11 and a half hours. And somehow, by the grace of God, the prayers, and the body that I had refused to die somehow. And it wasn't my time. I was in a coma for over three and a half weeks. And I'm here to let you know. And to tell you that life is not over, just because you're paralyzed. And I will explain to you why life is not over. And my video starts with a little bit of rubber bands. If you ain't got one of these out in TV land, you can make your own. Simple with a rubber band. And as you see, I got one finger that's nerve damage that I haven't really accomplished to uh, really strain it out. But it's a trick. And there's a solution to every trick. You take it, you put it under there. And you see I got a full face. Take it right there. Here we go. One. We're gonna start this way. We're gonna do ten. And you know, this is simple to do. You just gotta follow me. You know? And like I said, you could be 60, 70, I don't care how old you are, you could be 18 years old, paralyzed. Life is not over. To God says it's over. That's why it's not the way I think. Motivation, don't give up. Don't give up, okay? That's one set. Now, you put it back in your head, you hold it back in your head, and you stretch your arm, and you do 10 of those. And as you see how simple it is, you know, sometimes I do less than 10, over 10. I just want you to start, start you off. This is nothing about the professional radio. Later on, you'll see things that you think are, are not are tricks. Are they not tricks? It's just a lot of practice, you know, picking things from the floor. How do you pick things from the floor? You can't walk. Ah! Later on down in the video, you'll see why. And why I'm able to pick up things from the floor. And you know, you say to yourself, what the hell? Is he a robot? Does he got magnets? No, I got, yeah, I got magnets. I got stakes. But you're going to see, like you see there, I did more than 20. Or, you know, you just got to... You know, just don't give up. Life is not over. Okay. Now, this is more intense. You take your hand, you stretch 10, 10, 10, through, 3, 4. Come on, let's do it together. 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Now, we are going to, later on, we're going to be working with heavier weights. For those that think they'd be able to do that, I'm going to bring the, the, the stick down a little bit. And I'm going to kill a little time here. This chair is adjustable, as you can see. So now I'm going to bring it up. And like I said, if you're walking, if you're not, if you're 60, 70, the back of your head, in front of your head, over your head, standing up, sitting down, I don't care how you do it, you do 10. One, two, three, four. I like, do a, I like doing a set of hundreds, but that's a little bit short and off, you know? That's how advanced I am with these things. I probably could do about a thousand, a set of a thousand, give up, and do another set of 500, and I wind up doing about 6,000 a night. But I gave up, I'll be honest with you, I gave up, that's why I'm doing these videos. I gave up the first time almost. A little depressed, okay? As you see, there's no tricks. <laughs> okay? You stop at that. Now, all we're gonna do is, this is more without the rubber band. For those who have problems like me from playing professional ball and doing a lot of fighting in the street and on the ground fighting, though I'll get into that later in the video as the videos go by. Right now it's about surviving. 
how to cook your own meal when your girlfriend might be sleeping. I got a camera remember who's cooking the meal. You'll see a lot of that too in the future. Me cooking, showing you how to get out of this house in 10 seconds that there's a fire on the road. You know, I'm in the chair. Okay, now we are going to go back and we're going to talk a little about people that are down that they don't have no motivation, no energy. And um, I want to be an, an inspiration to those people that felt the way I felt. But I don't want them to give up. A perfect example is this. These are 10 pounds. I don't expect quadruplegians like me to do this. Uh, one of the first steps is I want people to do it with their own weight, whatever they can do. I prefer to do it with 10 pounds, of course. I get uh, bored doing it with light weights, but I understand that people in my condition, six, seven incomplete quadruplegians, it's by the words of the, of the, the grace of God and mostly meeting him 70%. Doctor said, eat a lot of omega, eat a lot of protein, you will heal from your sores, whatever you have sores. Quadruplegians get a lot of sores. One of the, one of the main reasons they die here. Um, just don't give up. My whole video is about not giving up, surviving, some about the past, dying all those times that I did in 11 and a half hours. But again, I'm not dwelling on that. I'm here to tell you that life is not over and to God says it's over. Now, if you want to commit suicide, that's your business, but I like it, even paralyzed like this. Okay, here we go. We're going to do 10 of these. You hold your, like this, and you come down like this, and then you twist, and you bring it up. You go down like this, and you twist, and then you bring it up. Now you know what to do. You just follow. Down. Bring it up. Twist. Down. Twist. Bring it up. Down. Twist. Bring it up. Down. Twist. Bring it up. The reason we I do these is to uh, make more electricity for my wrist, because being a public player, you got a lot to do with uh, tend your tendons tie up, your muscles, and if you give up, <laughs> that's it, they tie up. So use it or lose it. Come on. One, two, three, up. 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 And that's how we do it, brother. And then the same thing with the other hand. But this time, we're going to twist. Bring it over here. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. The opposite way. One, two, three, up. Or one, two, three, this way. You choose it. Whatever you can do. And that's how the video is all about. Now, you got to touch of that. One of the main reason for this video is breathing. For the research that I did, and very little, research shows the people that are paralyzed, they're breathing, they have problems. It's like no, no quad, you don't have no waist, and you paralyze from here down technically, so you, you panic a little bit here and there, a lot of muscle spasm, but um, it's not over. And uh, this video is just giving you a little touch of, here we go again, a little touch of, you know, that you can do anything you want. One, two, any kind of weight you can use. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I like to uh, show up a little bit and do that and bring it back in. Now, same thing with this one. You do one, two, three. It's throwing punches, really. I uh, built myself up to 1,200 of these sets of 1,200s. And like I said, that's what this video is all about. I gave up. And I was almost down and out to the ground. And I was giving up, not completely. And one day I woke up and I said, I have to start all over again. And that's what happened. Now, we're going to do a breathing exercise. 
the one hand here, the one hand there. You take a deep breath, and you don't hold tight, you just hold your chest right there. You take a deep breath, and you start with 10, sec 10 seconds. You build up to a, a minute. And I've seen guys 80 years old that could hold it for a minute. And one of them was a smoker. He gave up smoking when he was 60. So I guess over the years of not smoking no more, he got clean. Um, I have a, a little thing here that I usually work with a lot. It's uh, for people that are having problems with their hands. You know, you are, especially when your shoulders are weak, this is one exercise I recommend. One up, take any, any way you can use, and you just bring it up like this without moving your forearm. I mean, your, 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 your biceps, your, your muscles in your top arm. Just bending and keeping the wrist straight. You don't want to do that. You want to keep it straight. And you do 10 of those, and then you do 10 of these. You bring it in like this, you do these. You do these. I'm going a little too fast today. Got to slow down. You do these. And you do these, 10 of these, the same way. One, two. That's for the elbow. You keep the elbow tight. Tight. The elbow is tight. You don't move, you're not doing this. You're moving this. You're moving your shoulder right here. That's for your rotator cuff. Okay. And you see how I bend and throw my elbow always like that? I have what they call an HO. I got a pacemaker. I HO. And people ask me, what is an HO? It's a trauma. Well, you didn't get into a car accident. Your joints lock up and you get calcium deposits. So I have problems with this. Pacemaker, so I can't get no radiation, electric shocks. So, you know, I'm still up. You don't see me bitching and complaining. So, to the glory of God, I'm alive and I, all the hard work I put in, and I will continue to put it in. And I will say, we'll do another video soon. Bye.